kids, my name is Joycey Horsey. Are you ready to read with me? Yes, yes, yep, yep, yes! Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's go! Before we begin our story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today, we are going to read the book, The Christmas Cub. Are you ready? Let's begin! A long time ago, there was a cub named Pip. He was curious about everything. Pip lived in a big cave with his mother and father. One chilly day, Mama said, It is time to go to sleep, dear. Winter is nearly here. But Pip was too curious to sleep. What was winter? He just had to find out. So he crept out of the cave and into the wintry woods. Pip followed his nose until he came to a cabin. What is this? The little bear wondered out loud. A nearby pine tree replied, that is a cabin. Pip was curious. Who are you? He asked. I am Evergreen, the pine tree said. She pointed with a branch toward the cabin. And they are people. Pip had never seen people before. They were very interesting. They had no fur, and they walked on two legs instead of four. Evergreen knew all about people, just as she knew all about winter. I'm the only tree that stays awake, she explained. I get to see all of winter, the ice, the snow. And best of all, Christmas. What is Christmas? Pip asked. Christmas is beautiful. Evergreen sighed. The people decorate their cabin. Pip peeked through the window. I'm glad I stayed awake for Christmas. He said. But Christmas gets even better, said Evergreen. The people sing special songs, the tree went on. Pip loved the music. I am so glad I didn't miss Christmas, he said. But Christmas gets even better. Evergreen laughed. The people bake cookies. Pip liked the smell of cookies. When the people were gone, Pip ate some. He cried, I love Christmas. But Christmas gets even better. Evergreen said. The people give each other gifts and it makes them feel Christmas happy. Pip sighed. I wish I could feel Christmas. I wish you could too. Evergreen said. And that gave the tree an idea. The next day, Pip found a present under Evergreen's branches. For me? He asked. Evergreen nodded, and the air smelled like sweet pine. Pip unwrapped his present. It's beautiful, he cried. The little tree felt Christmas happy. The birds help me make it for you, she said. 
Pip hugged his doll tightly. Now I know what Christmas is, said the little bear. But the next day, Pip realized he was wrong. I must find a gift for Evergreen, the cub thought. He looked outside the cave. Rain trickled down from a dull gray sky. What could the little bear give to the tree? Suddenly, the clouds parted. A rainbow appeared. It was so beautiful, Pip thought. That would be a perfect present for every green. So he ran off to catch the rainbow. Pip found it shimmering in a puddle. As he watched, the puddle turned to ice. It started to snow. Pip picked the frozen rainbow out of the icy puddle. The little bear couldn't wait to give Evergreen his special gift. But just as he reached his friend, Pip fell and dropped the rainbow. I broke your gift, Pip sobbed. But it's still beautiful, Evergreen said, and that gave the bear an idea. Now you are the most colorful tree in the world, Pip said. Just then, Santa appeared. Ho, ho, ho! What a beautiful tree, he said. I believe you are a Christmas tree. Ho, ho, ho! From then on, all evergreens have been Christmas trees, and cuddly teddy bears have been Santa's favorite gift to give. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.